Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Place channel. In this video, we're gonna be quickly talking about how to, you know, change your base, GUIs, all the things, and making sure that it works, making sure it looks good. And yeah, this kind of goes over the GUIs and everything. This is a live tutorial, so I'm actually just gonna go this, through this with you. Um, no edits and everything, so we're just gonna go do this, and um, you can just follow along. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. We're trying to get 200,000 subs. And um, yeah, I have a lot of tutorials coming. Um, okay, so going into this, we're gonna go into here. Now, if you haven't gotten this kit already or not, um, it should be all in the description. Uh, make sure you guys are joining the Discord because I have a lot of stuff in there as well. We can help you out. Um, so yeah, just feel free to join the Discord if that's helpful for you guys. But um, yeah, going into this, last time we talked about the laser doors, so you should have that set up. Um, a lot of people are saying they have issues with like, oh, I don't start with money. Oh, I don't start with this. Um, I don't know why that's happening. Uh, either you don't have your game settings, you didn't watch the tutorial, but go into security, make sure these are on, and then, yeah, just make sure you set up, I mean, honestly, it, sh it should just work right away if you just put the kid in your game and you turn on the security. So if it's not happening, you have something else in your game and that's bugging it, because it shouldn't be working like that. Okay, so going into this, um, as you can tell, we have base one and base two. Uh, I think for now, I'm actually going to delete base two because I want to work on base one and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So let's say in here. Okay. So I, I forgot to let you know. Yeah. Um, oh, actually map, map builds. Oh wait, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. I always get free extra. Okay. So yeah. So Tigo kind of had this in the last one. So, um, we're just going to delete all of the stuff that he has with the like, um, UI and stuff because we don't really need it. Um, I mean, I, I love his personally, but you know, for now we'll just keep it the way it is. Okay, so um, going into this, yeah, um, basically, we can go, we have signs right here, so collect zone, uh, we'll just, you know, you can just get rid of that surface GUI, signs part, um, I do like the way he has, like, the the players thing and stuff, so I'll have to talk, uh, figure that out later, but we'll fix that, yeah, so thumbnail, text label, okay, so we're actually going to keep these, because I'm probably going to want to configure this, um, and then base sign, uh, I don't know what that's for, but we can delete this because we don't need that. Um, I like this though, to be honest. Um, so what you could do actually is we can actually go right here and put this in the base, get rid of, oh no, keep those there. Okay, so yeah, this is owner. So it's owner um, and then there is a thing uh, going through here. So I actually didn't even look at this stuff, but you know, it's nice when it comes to programming and learning how to do things, you kind of learn it yourself. Um, but I think it's insert, where are they at? Somewhere I, th I thought I saw it, insert, yeah, okay. So owner GUI, this is a surface GUI, so let's compare the two real quick. Um, make sure this is, yeah, so this is a surface GUI as well. Okay, so he has owner GUI and then um, display name. So this goes here, so you go here and you'll call it uh, display name. And you'll guys, you'll see what I'm doing in a second here. So actually, yeah, so we'll go owner, get rid of that. We're gonna call this owner. Oops, make sure that's right. Um, so once we call that owner, um, don't worry about the thumbnail for now, we'll fix that later. And then this, we're gonna drag this into here. Okay, uh, make sure these guys are aligned, looks good. And we're gonna call it um, owner GUI. So using, we're gonna be using uh, Tigos, like I was trying to tell you. Um, and actually, I forgot to mention to uh, yeah, actually, no, it's good to, I think you could honestly do that up to you, but yeah, actually, no, no, we're going to leave it like that. Okay. Owner GUI. Perfect. Um, okay. So that's good. All set up now with that. Um, so we have the multiplier right here. So uh, this is a billboard GUI as well. So we can go into here and see uh, where does they do that? I think it was collect zone is what happens. Um, let's see. Oh no. You can just search up multiplier. Um, so multiplier text, uh, let's see, I think it's right here and collect all blah, 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 blah. No, it's going to be an index probably. Maybe, no, it's in players. Duh. This is where he handles everything. Uh, multiplier, maybe. Nope. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I'm just doing this wrong. Collect zone. Okay. We'll go right here. Um, collect zone. Da, 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 da. Just got to check some things real quick. You guys, 
um, insert. Duh, it's the insert module. I'm being stupid. Okay, so yeah, so it uses the multiplier. The multiplier is going to be putting into the collect zone. So um, what we can do, and just see real quick, is um, another same thing, exactly what we just did. So um, looking at this, sorry, guys, we have, where's the spawn? No platform, signs, platforms, main structure. Oh, multiplier mount. Okay, so he has multiplier mount. Okay, this is another billboard GUI. So let's say you put that in collect zone. Let's just look real quick. Because um, this is where you would see if, yeah, so it's like that. Okay, we, we don't need to worry about that. So we can just delete this. And what we can do, sorry guys, is you can drag this and put it in collect zone. If I'm right. Yes, I think so. Oh, but it's not enabled, duh. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of in a bad position. Um, and also too, let's put this out right here. Let's go a little bigger um, just because might as well um, make it the same size. And then, yeah, multiplier GUI, what I would recommend um, doing is probably be a little odd. Let's go to Y. Yeah, we'll go one. Maybe we'll go like four on this, you know, just or like three, maybe we can go like three. And then I don't know why the size is so small, but um, yeah, UI list layout, it looks like. Um, so I don't know, maybe I can just make it a little bit bigger. Um, I think it will just automatically. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to go like that. That's that's a little better. Okay, so then you just put this back into uh, insert service. Okay. And then, um, okay, yeah, so we have everything good right here. This is the, which button is this? This is the spawn. Okay, yeah, spawn. Uh, you can just set that to one transparency once again. Uh, I would put this like right in the middle maybe. I don't know where they normally spawn. Maybe you spawn outside of your base. I don't know if you guys know. I think you do. So maybe I'll put the spawn just in case outside. Um, can't collide off. That's good. Um, and then we have the owner. Uh, we already did that. The lock. Okay, so the lock is what I was a little confused on. Let me see. I don't remember if it breaks if I don't have two bases. So let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah. So money multiplier. All right, that looks good. I like that. It's like up here. We have the collect zone. Looks better. Um, and then the owner. See, it looks, it looks good now. Um, and we have the thumbnail still, so we can change that. Um, but going into this, so how does the lock work? Yeah, okay. It looks like that. It looks pretty bad. Okay, and then we have friends. So if you hit friend allow, I just want to see this allowed. Oh yeah, it's on the that side. Okay, so we'll fix that. Okay, so yeah, now we just need to delete this part. So um guys, yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so what was I doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> Going into here, um, this is the other thing. So oh yeah, and multiplier amount, guys, you can just delete that now. Um walls will get unnamed, just barriers and stuff, platform signs. Uh, lock. Okay, lock. Yeah, so in here in lock, you're just able to delete this. Uh, you're good. Oh, not all of it. Just delete the text holder. You want to delete the text holder because you still want that little design. Uh, but this is the lock thing. So uh, actually, you just go right here. Um, and then honestly, what I recommend, just following this, you can go right here. I think this is how the lock works in Girl Gar I mean, in uh, Steel Brain Raw. I don't know. Um, you guys will have to visually do it yourselves. But yeah, so put that the one. And then the friends button, like, honestly, I think because it's, like, an actual button. Oh, yeah, let me just don't want to forget. Um, so I'm going to turn this 90 degrees, and we'll put it right there, and we'll go out. So now that what's going to happen is going to be a sign right here. So if you want to make something, like, fun, I guess, for just cool, I guess, to make it look like it's, like, a button, you know, you could go right here. Let's just do this real quick. Let's just build something for fun. Um, so we'll just, like, honestly, yeah, like, literally as simple as this. It's like a little button you walk up to, and you can enable it or not. Um, uh, yeah, so just make sure it's anchored. And then, um, I don't know. I mean, you could put, like, a corner wedge or something on it. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's just do this. Um, then you go like this. You can make it, like, somewhat good, I guess. Come on, twin. Do better. Um, so we'll go like this. We'll put, like, a red button on it. Okay. Like, just like that. Just something simple. And then what you can do, we can just uh, group these together. Put this in uh, whatever signs. It's an extra thing. Don't worry about it. Um, then friends, what you're going to do is you're going to drag this over here. So that's a big part. I didn't realize. Um, okay. Now just following the red thing. So just go like this. And what I was trying to tell you is there is a sign right here. So it's like a little green thing. Um, so yeah, you do want to just follow what I'm doing. Um, and then just have this out just a little tiny bit, just like that. 
Um, and boom. And then you can just turn the transparency to one. And that should be all the GUIs, except there are these ones, which we'll talk about. But yeah, so I mean, same thing goes for this. So um, slots, okay. I probably should have done this a little. I probably, yeah, well, we might have to do it a little. Uh, let's like try it with other people first, but we'll go over and make the user thumbnail thing in a sec. But okay, you have everything going right here. I'm going to have to fix this too, because I realized uh, some of the things. But as you can tell, we have money multiplier. Everything's good, looking good. Um, oh, this does look like crap though. So, um, and see how it's like a little on whatever we'll fix that. So, um, and yeah, oh, is this button sideways? Oh, okay. I need to change it one more, uh, to the right. Okay. And then friends. Yeah. So, okay. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> um, it's all about testing guys. You know, this stuff happens. So just test your game out, see what makes it work and what looks good. And then you go from there. Um, okay, so we'll put this back right here, blah, 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 blah. And then what you can do, sorry, I keep forgetting, guys. Um, so there's a Surface GUI. So if you go to Friends, that's going to be on there. Where's that at? Oh, wait, no. Billboard GUI, let's do this one. Oh, I keep forgetting they're not enabled. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so it's going to be right here. So um, I don't know, honestly, like maybe just go out a little bit. Oh, wait, no, this is, let's go stud offset as well. Um, actually, no, you can actually just go always on top. What am I talking about? So do that. Turn that to always on top. That's actually good. Um, and then max distance. I would, I don't know why it's 50. Holy crap. Just do like 10, I think. Yeah, 10 is perfect. Um, so that just makes it so it doesn't see as far. And then I don't know if there's a proximity prompt that he has. I wish I could find that. But max distance for that needs to be turned down too. Um, locked UI, same thing. Like I would do 10. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going for this. We can put this into lock and look at how it looks. Um, make sure it's enabled. Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Did I turn off friends UI? No, that needs to be whatever. So, okay, back into lock. Sorry, guys. Um, that was weird it was doing that. Okay, but either way, I don't know, same thing for this. I'm going to make it like 2 by 2 by 0 So it's going to be a little bigger because I didn't like that. And that's good for 10. Um, and then put this back into insert. Um, okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to just uh, publish to Roblox once you're done with that. Um, okay, and then now, yeah, what I would do is actually, I think we can actually, once again, sorry guys, um, thing GUI. Yeah, so I think these are the, oh no, that's the thing. thing. Okay. Well, okay, so going into these slots. Um, I wish I didn't make it like this, but <laughs> either way, you can just go, honestly, you can actually go like this. It's going to take a second, but we'll do this. So configuration, occupy, blah, blah, blah. Just go in here. Let's get all of them real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, and then transparency, we'll set that to one. I'm pretty sure they get already transparent when you dab them in, but we should be fine. Okay. And then now, now it's basically set up. So now we have everything kind of set up and looking good. Um, so going over here we can go and do base two and then um that should be good so we're gonna just save that real quick um yes okay so going off of that i didn't set up the uh display name right what's it called user display name text player text okay this is the update money leaderboard no oh that's not leaderboard style it steals leaderboard 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 Okay, this is the GUI. Um, yeah, so right here, um, I actually will probably use what I have in Girl Garden real quick, but um, just because I don't want to type it all up. But going into this, sorry guys, I got to find that uh, thing. What I'm like being stupid. Oh, insert. Okay. Owner GUI display name thumbnail. Okay, so we do thumbnail. So it looks like, yeah, it's just this. Okay, perfect. Easy. So you can just go right here and we could just go uh, owner gui dot uh thumbnail okay no actually yeah local sorry guys um local thumbnail equals under gui dot thumbnail okay so we'll go into that and then uh where's that image finder image yeah no let's just do thumbnail Okay, so um, I'm actually going to go and grab, I think I have it already saved. Let's just double check. Run boost gadgets, perfect player icon. Reason is I don't want to type this all up. And there's actually a whole thing on this as well, um, which is nice. But uh, right 
here. Image is in the center. Uh, no services. Okay, billboard GUI right here. Okay, so now what you got to do is all of these. Okay, so go players. Um, okay, so thumbnail size. Blah, 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 blah. Image label. Um, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, actually, we can go like this. So then we go um, we'll go thumbnail. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Thumbnail.image is ready in content. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. blah player.display name. So player with a capital looks like. Um, yeah, that's, that looks like it's it. Um, that should be it. This should just be the text. So uh, let me, let's, let's test this real quick and then you guys can copy it copy this and put it onto your thing um it might be disabled so i might need to like actually make it visible oh okay done <laughs> okay nice all right so um yeah i'm gonna just take a screenshot of this for the thumbnail actually um okay so perfect so now that we're looking at that um let's pause this and let's actually go back so you guys can see what we did um sorry i know typing it i just don't memorize it so um yeah i mean you don't have to call local thumbnail you could just do owner's ui dot thumbnail if you want instead of this but um yeah this is this is what we added so just feel free to add this right here and this is the uh yeah image icon and then this is the owner text so all you have to do is go to players it looks like we're at 951 and yeah you just fix this right here and this will give you um this will give you the thumbnail for the players icon uh, and what we're doing with this, sorry guys, I'll make it, go, make it short. Just the headshot, this is the thumbnail user type. So it's like when you go to your Roblox profile, actually, this is a good example. Um, let's see, or friends, whatever. It's just this right here. It's literally this. And then we grab that headshot, for 420 by 420. Um, and then we just check by getting the user thumbnail async and giving their user ID, the thumbnail type, the size. And once it's ready, um, we set that and we set it right here. Um, but yeah. Uh, image transfer image. oh yeah yeah perfect that's perfect okay that's it you guys um yeah i think that's it for this tutorial and the next one i'll probably talk about uh going over like simpler things what i mean by that is like the uh you know setting up and making your own characters um because i know a lot of people want those little tutorials so i'm gonna do that don't worry about it but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much have a good one